Hi guys, let us discuss what is the difference between a simple distillation and a fractional distillation. Okay, so to help us understand the concept, we will view this on the laboratory point of view. Here is a setup of a simple distillation process. In a simple distillation process, we are separating a liquid out of a solution. Well, you're probably familiar already on this setup because you have done this already on your laboratory exercises in basic chemistry class. So let us just try to identify the parts of a simple distillation process. So first we have a distilling flask where our solution is contained at the beginning. And then we have a thermometer to measure our temperature. We have a condenser in order to cool down the vapor that we got here in our distilling flask. Then we have a three-way adapter in order to connect our distilling flask, our condenser, and our thermometer. And then we have a vacuum adapter in order to connect our condenser with our receiving flask. So during the distillation process, the solution from our distilling flask will evaporate and pass through our condenser where it will be turned into a liquid form and will be collected here in our receiving flask. Now, let me show you the setup for a fractional distillation. Here in fractional distillation, we are separating mixture of liquids. Okay, so that means we are separating more than one particular liquid in our solution. Okay, and we're going to explain that in detail in our succeeding slides. But have a look at this setup here. As you can see, this is basically the same as the simple distillation setup. We have the distilling flask. We have a three-way adapter. We have a thermometer. We have our condenser right here, a vacuum adapter, and a receiving flask. The only difference between the simple distillation setup and the fractional distillation setup is that we have a fractional column right here. Well, don't worry because in our discussion on the succeeding slide, we're going to show you how this works. Now, if you refer on our textbooks, you will find the simple distillation setup illustrated like this and a fractional distillation setup to be illustrated this way. Okay, so as you can see, the setup is almost identical aside that there is a fractionating column present in our fractional distillation setup. Alright, so now let us explain how this works, starting with a simple distillation process. So here in our distilling flask contains our solution where we want to separate a particular liquid and transfer that here in our receiving flask. And in order to have a clear discussion, so let us assume that our sample here is a salt water solution. Okay, so as you already know about the process of distillation, we will apply heat to our solution right here in order to vaporize the liquid that we want to separate from our solution. So we will be applying heat until our solution comes into boiling. Then, of course, the liquid that we want to separate will start to evaporate. In this case, we have water that is starting to evaporate. So, let us have our water vapor right here. And then, it will pass through our condenser. And as you know, what is happening in our condenser, we have our water in lower temperature entering on this part of our condenser and leaving at higher temperature because there is a heat exchange happening between the vapor and our water supplied in our condenser. So what will happen is that the temperature of our vapor will start to drop because the heat will be transferred from our vapor to the water coming in at low temperature. And because of that, our water vapor will start to condense and will be changed into a liquid form and then finally this condensed liquid will be flowing down to our receiving flask and this will now contain our distillate and in this case we have water which is now separated from our salt solution so this is how a simple distillation process works and as i said you probably done this already in your laboratory 
But what will happen if our solution contains different types of liquids and we want to separate them from one another? So let's say we have methanol, ethanol, and propanol in our solution. How are we going to separate that? So obviously, it will not be very easy using this simple distillation process. And that is why we have to use a fractional distillation process in that case. So let us have our setup here for fractional distillation. So again, our solution contains methanol, ethanol, and propanol. Okay, so all of these liquids are in our solution right here. And in order to understand what we're going to do, let me write the boiling point of each liquid. So, methanol has a boiling point of 65 degrees Celsius, ethanol with 78 degrees Celsius, and propanol have 97 degrees Celsius boiling point. Well, these details are very important in order for our fractional distillation to work properly. Now, let me first explain while a simple distillation process will not work, if you have dissolution having multiple liquids and you will not be able to separate all of them using a simple distillation setup. So let me show you that. So let's say in our distilling flask, we have a solution containing methanol, ethanol, and propanol. And at the same way, in our condenser, we have water entering in low temperature. And because of heat exchange, it will leave at higher temperature. So what we're going to do is to apply heat into our solution until it comes into boiling. And of course, at this point, our solution will start to vaporize. So again, our solution here contains methanol, ethanol, and propanol. So at this point, all of them are boiling. So what will happen? At this point, the vapor of methanol, ethanol, and propanol will start flowing into our condenser. So methanol, ethanol, and our propanol will now vaporize and pass through our condenser. So again, what is happening in our condenser? Because of the heat exchange between the water at low temperature and our vapors at this point will start to condense. So it will change into a liquid form and flow into our receiving flask. Now as you can see, we now collected our liquid solution here. But what happened is that in our receiving flask, we have ethanol, methanol, and propanol all together. So that means we are not able to separate each of our liquid successfully okay and this is why we have to use our fractional distillation setup in order to separate them so let us explain that now so going back to our setup i will now apply heat but at this time i will control the temperature at 65 degrees celsius which is the boiling point for methanol so as you can see this is lower than the boiling point of ethanol and lower than the boiling point of propanol. So what will happen is that our solution will be heated up and start to vaporize. So again, our solution contains methanol, ethanol, and propanol. But on this case, since the temperature is within the boiling point of the methanol, so it will start to vaporize and pass through our condenser. Now, at this point, some methanol and ethanol could also vaporize. Okay, so it will pass through our fractionating column right here. But in our fractionating column here, the temperature is much lower at the top compared at the bottom. So that means the temperature of the ethanol and propanol will again drop or will be reduced. So, it will not pass through our condenser but will go back to our distilling flask. Okay, now going back to our condenser, we know that there is a Higgs exchange happening between our methanol vapor and the water right here. So, on this case, our methanol will be converted into a liquid form and will pass down to our receiving flask. 
So at this point, we can separate this flask and we know that this contains methanol. So on this case, we successfully separated methanol from our solution. And the next step is to separate our ethanol. And to do that, we are going to increase our temperature to 78 degrees Celsius, which is lower than the boiling point of the propanol. So again, what will happen? Our ethanol will vaporize and pass through our condenser. And again, the same way, some of our propanol will also vaporize and pass through the fractionating column. But the temperature is lower at the top of the fractionating column, so our propanol will just go back to our distilling flask. And then for our ethanol, it will start to condense, then falls down to our receiving flask. And at this point, we know that we collected already our ethanol from our solution. So we can again separate this. So we know that we already have ethanol. Okay, and finally, the next step is to increase our temperature to 97 degrees Celsius. So this is now equal to the boiling point of propanol. So our propanol will vaporize and goes to our condenser. And because of heat exchange, our propanol vapor will start to condense and change into liquid form. And this will now then falls into our receiving flask. So now we successfully collected our propanol. So on this case, as you can see, we are able to separate multiple liquids from our solution. We separated ethanol, methanol, and propanol using fractional distillation. Well, I hope that this video presentation has helped you in understanding what is the difference between a simple distillation and fractional distillation. So, thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.